Welcome back to Let's Play Firewatch. We're on our way to track down some unruly teenagers trying to start a fire in our forest. Hey, clothes. Well, that's a good sign for everybody. Well, they left their clothes out to dry. It looks like uh, two people. Well, uh, what if they're naked? Won't that be exciting? Look, they're obviously still there, so tell them off and then head back. Who wears plaid in the 80s? That's a 90s thing. I'm taking your shirt! No! What? I can see that. I can see that in the 80s. It's flower. more grass. It's just a flower. Uh oh. Oh, that's, uh, that is very different, though. That is a bra. Uh, I found a bra. A nudie pyromaniac. Remain professional. I mean, I'll try, but. Yep. That's a brawl, right? Sure is. Just drops it on the ground. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, there are, uh, panties. There are what? I don't want to say that word again. Why? Because you're 12? <laughs> uh, <laughs> for the best that we just... Don't even... Oh. Oh, great. There's a... Ooh. Yes? There are two naked ladies out here. Can you handle that? Come on. I like naked ladies, same as anyone, but there's... She's such you know, a shitter, isn't she? <laughs> two? Yeah. I know this will be tough for you, but try to pick your tongue up off the ground. Okay. She damn well earned that 30 cent raise at this point. <laughs> like, come on, Henry. Do your job. It's not hard. Yep, there they are, out there dancing. I'll report them real quick. Having a good time for everybody. I found them in the lake. Skinny dipping? Yeah. Is that a guy over there? Oh boy. Enjoy dealing with that. They, they are, are drunk. drunk. They are sure they, are. How are they not dead at this point? Take it easy with the fireworks, all right? You ought to take it easy at the Sizzler buffet. <laughs> Chelsea, what? He's just some loser out in the woods. I mean, he's groaning. Why can't even I tell what I look like. I can't see what you look like. You're little black silhouettes. Well, tell them off. Duck all of your stuff. Fireworks, whiskey, you name it. What? You dick! Also, setting off fireworks out here isn't just stupid, it's illegal. Yeah, so is uh, this is confiscation at this point. You're gonna pay for that. Yeah, I highly doubt that. You are gross. You're just some sad man out in the woods. I mean that says the true drunk two two drunk kids out in the middle of the woods. Yeah. I mean that may be true, but it doesn't change the fact that you're both drunk and doing illegal crap. Ain't that go okay? It's I hope drown. I don't think anyone would mourn a couple of future arsonists. Just gonna go ahead and not lock that as a threat. Thanks. But seriously, though, thanks for dealing with it. Oh, I can see that from here. But you reported in. Gave you a radio option. Oh, did I not respond to it? Oh well. Well, this lake does seem like a good spot to swim, even if the last people to do so were assholes. Yeah, right now, though, it's all snow melt, so you'll freeze your balls off. But as hot as it's been, maybe that's a fair trade. Start to feel like it. No, I meant her lookout. You could see her lookout, and you could call it in. Any chance of those kids getting a disease in this lake? Like diphtheria, or consumption, or... Consumption? consumption? <laughs> not if they're not 19th century chimney sweeps, no. You know, whatever. I mean, if they drank a bunch, Giardia, maybe, but probably not this time of year. Hmm. Well, that's too bad. <laughs> See, I've already called her a tower. Is it going to be, like, there different? There we go. Hey, you keep your lights on at night? I'm doing a crossword puzzle. I, I do a lot of crossword puzzles. Okay, what is with this boombox here? 
So there's no uh, noise ordinances or rules out here? Uh, no. But that music I hear makes a good case for them. Yeah, no kidding. Yep, that sure is a boombox. I don't think he... Oh. Oh my god, did you actually break their boombox? I did it! I'll check your map real quick. There's another cache nearby. Want to go huh. hit that up real quick? Yeah. Um, may have to, considering we can't actually get back up Cripple Gulch down there. Oh, yeah. What's that sign over there say? Two forks. Two forks. Yeah. In that direction. Which is... Approximately east. Which is true, I guess. Kinda, yeah. I mean, general yeah, so we're area. looking to go northeast by the... I guess that's approximately this way. Oh, yeah, there we go. It's a very, very non-scared person to be able to make it over that tree, because I wouldn't. Uh, so if we want to hit that cache, we're going to have to cross this river. So that's like over this way. That's just a little creek. It looks bigger on the map. Well, Maybe it's not actually that big. I think a map has to at least cover some outlets or anything like that. You know, they just went behind that. They just went behind that rock. Where did they go? I think they're waiting for us to leave. Is that a person? No. I don't know what that is. Not my problem. Oh, hey, there's the cash box. Hey. Well, that was easy. I don't even remember walking over a stream. <sighs> my socks are wet now. Box 305. I did it. Oh, and he's even got one that says no fireworks. Oh, got another note. Well, grab it. Oh, I can't call this note in. Yeah, I could think you only did the first one. Well, I've got some bad news back home, so hopefully they'll let me out of here for a while. Who's to say, though, budgets being what they are? Did you get my note about what went down in Wapiti? Sheriff isn't too pleased with me, but I didn't. I don't know. I probably overdid it. Wish he would have been there. I guess you must have got, got hung up. Day P.S. Amigos is Spanish, and Professionales is Italian. I mean, okay. Must be another note they're talking about. Do you notice it's only been Ron, uh, Ron so Dave talking so far, not Ron? Hmm. All right, we All updated right. our map. What's in the box? And what do we got? Oh, oh sweater. sweater. Uh, I found a sweatshirt from the University of Eastern Colorado. There's a University of Eastern Colorado? I really don't think there is. Why would somebody make that up? And put it on right, a sweater. And then put it on a sweatshirt. The world's a weird place. Sweet hat shirts always get. Oh, I can't even take it. Nope. You zoom in, check it out. University of Eastern Colorado. Yep. Yeah. Somebody made up a university out here. What kind of animal is that? Is it an animal? I don't know. Oh, it might be an elk. See, I was thinking like... Or a ram? Eye, eye, nose. But then, and like a neck going down. But then like this, and the way it goes back, it almost looks like it's got the back of a snake head. I... Want to say it's a ram? Snake deer. Or snake ram. The fourth estate hmm. is a skeleton with America in the mouth, mouth, mouth. Hey, I can actually read this one. I'll read out loud for the rest of the class. Uh, let's see here. Is it Neil Black thought a trip to California would do him good. He'd soak up some sun, drive a convertible, and maybe even enjoy a poolside drink with a tiny umbrella. But in Richard Sturgeon's fourth entry in the Neil Black series, California is nothing but a dream. An emergency landing after a murder in first class, I can't read that, a uh, trans-American thriller that puts Neil, uh, if the South City streets, and slam him uh, into a sordid web of politics and high finance, and all he finds is murder, deceit, and betrayal. Fourth Estate is new territory for Sturgeon, and it's not to be missed. 
I mean, all right. Oh, I can't take it with me. <laughs> Just drop it back in. Down you go. Well, let's close it up and get back. Yeah. Oh, wrong button. Okay, so yeah, so we can look at our map now, and we can see a more path got added. Oh. So that's cool. Oh, man, that's going way up there. Whoppity Meadow. Oh, I kind of want to go up there, but that's a long run, and we can't... we got to go back. I don't know if you can make it up there. Well, we can look. See oh, if no, there's wait, something... no, no, look at the map. I think there's brush in the way or something. Mm. Well, we can, we can check. Uh, let's see, okay. so that's like east. It's like this way. East? What kind of compass you read in there? Oh, wait, that compass. Joke doesn't work too well. Yeah, yeah you're going the right way. All right. Looking good. Got a bunch of rocks in the way. That's cool. Oh, uh, it's got a tile. Oh, uh, okay, yeah, so we can't go this way. Down. Yeah, that's stopping us right off. All right. Yep, nothing to do. Can't even talk to Delilah about it. All right, well, back we go. So we're going to have to work our way down by the river. See where we're going. I think we're going the right way so far. It's just Thunder Canyon. Oh, uh, now that I don't hear those fireworks in the distance anymore, I'm not constantly worried that it is, in fact, a bear breathing. <laughs> Dang it. So this is, for the most part, not like a thriller. It's not an action game or anything. You don't have to worry about, like, a bear chasing you, and then you got to run away from the bear or anything. It's not that kind of game. I mean, there's oh. going to be some stuff going on, of course. Also, you could go back to the campsite and report some stuff in, implying that they're still there naked in the lake, but eventually you'd have to come back around here anyway, because... And look, being naked in a lake isn't as big a crime. Mostly, we're worried about the fire. Yeah, the fireworks, when we're fire watchers. Like, at the end of the day, we're not a park ranger. We're a fire watcher. I think you're going. You're still going the right yep. way. Just gotta, gotta keep going. This is it. It's a big old canyon. A very thunder for Thunder Creek. Hard to miss it. I thought I saw some smoke or something up here. Oh yeah, there we go. So I have a bit of a confession to make. You are an axe murderer. All right. What is it? Um, look, I was I was drunk last night when I welcomed you to the job. Yeah, well, you're not the first boss to be guilty of that. I know, I just, I know I can get a little pushy, you know, putting you on the spot about uh, why you're out here and stuff. It's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll keep that sort of a thing to, uh, to a minimum. Oh, hey, go back. Anyway, let me know when you no, get no, back no, to your lookout. Turn around. Look, look straight, straight ahead. There was, you, you could, yeah, you can radio in on your tower. Oh, I can see my tower from far away. Yeah, we experimented with hidden underground towers for a while, but we weren't really happy with the results. <laughs> you did not. No, no, we didn't. Anyway, happy hiking. <laughs> I couldn't tell which one was my favorite of that of those options there. Like I would have either gone with that one or I forget what the third one was. The third one was like the sarcasm's gonna get old. I think my I thought, favorite... he, I thought he said the sarcasm is never gonna get old. It might have been. I thought it was like it's gonna get old. The second one was like we're here all summer, just implying like the dread of the moment. Mm. I don't know. I I prefer play along with it. Look like a guy. <laughs> I'm doing evil things in this canyon. Crazy legs, McGee, coming to trouble you up. <laughs> While you walk through the canyon. With my ever faithful gunwalla. You didn't oh, think crap, you'd do that no. thing. <laughs> I gotta get out of this canyon. Oh. You're in a you're in nature. Thunderstorms are gonna happen. If there's not a cloud in the sky. I mean, well, there's sort of clouds. I don't know what those are supposed to be interpreted as. Uh, you can hear thunder off in the distance. Hey, I heard some thunder. Yeah, I've got eyes on a storm out to the north. Well, that's bad, right? Because of the lightning? It just means we'll be busy. Hurry home, and try not to get hit by lightning. Yeah, I'm not sure I got a lot of choice in getting struck down. <laughs> Especially not with your electric personality. <laughs> mm, I see 
my joke did not spark your sense of humor. <laughs> like you're not enjoying our current conversation. Oh my god, lady. <laughs> the, the arc of our budding friendship. There's a good one coming up here. Second one. How exactly are you in charge? Aw, Henry, that's a good one. You satisfied? Yes. <laughs> She's all right. Now okay, so oh, there is a cache right here. Yeah. yeah, let's open that crap up. Let's see if I can find that real quick. There is a, another thing she tells you about if you, if you choose the other option. Let's see if I can find it here real quick. Blah, 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 blah. Defend! Danger, bravery, the great outdoors, defend our frontier. I don't know, I think that, that elk's gonna defend itself. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's a recruitment poster for the Forest Ranger Service. Oh, we got a horn. There's a horn or an antler or whatever. Well, antlers are made of bone, and horns are made of the same stuff as your fingernails. I guess this is a bone. Antler. A ranger must have found it this spring. That's cool. You can look at it. Yep, that's an antler. Ooh, a flashlight. Yeah. If you choose that other option. I found a flashlight. There's one in there? Great. Well, the sun's gonna go down soon, so if the batteries still work, you're in luck. Well, might as well take it. Nope. Ah, hey! Ah. Well, now we got a flashlight. Press F to toggle flashlight. Uh, don't go in that cave yet. That's the way we need to go. I want us to go north here when we get a second. All right. And we did just, um, from that cache, we... Looks like we mostly drew up this little path back down to Two Forks, and then going all the way up there. Yeah, if you chose the other option, I'm assuming she tells you about a guy named Roy Sullivan, who was actually hit by lightning seven times in his Jeez. lifetime. Even one... He holds the Guinness World Record, and even his wife was struck by a lightning... Well, he was helping her hang clothes on the line. Jeez. And you know what finally got him? Hmm? Himself. He killed himself in 83. Jeez. Okay, so you wanted me to go up. Where am I going? You're going north. Going yeah. up past all these rocks. Could you imagine just getting struck by lightning? Not once. Not twice. But seven times in your lifetime, including accidentally getting your wife struck by lightning once. Look, like, even at the second time, you're like, this is getting old, you know. <laughs> Third time's like, why, God, why? Like, by the time he hits seven, you're just like, eh. That, that's it, I'm out. <laughs> it's like, eh, happening again, whatever. <laughs> At that point, would a defibrillator work on you? <laughs> the lightning is the defibrillator. <laughs> oh. I got something. Look up. There it is. Utility, Utility pole. pole. What are these power lines doing out here to the north? Those are comms lines. They connect folks like me to central command. Got it. And, if you can see them, that means you turn north of the cave and far, far away from Two Forks. You should head back. We won't. We're gonna keep going. Oh, we're still going? Alright. Yeah. You check the map. Yeah? No, no, check the map. Yeah, there's a couple... Oh, you can see the utility poles on the map. There's a couple things we're gonna see here. We can't go fur too far down, because there's gonna be another one of those, like, right around here. There's gonna be, like, sighting blocking us off. But we'll go as north as we can. As though the people at home can see where you're pointing. Well, they're going to have to approximate what I'm doing. Yep, that Those sure are dead is a tree. trees, aren't they? That sure is a tree. I got struck by lightning. I can see my house from here. Okay, that was a bear. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> hey, we're getting somewhere. Where are we? We're here. Yeah. 
Yeah, look at that. There's stuff up here. Rear tooth? Bear tooth. Oh, bear tooth? I said rear tooth. So there's another station out here. Well, it's not 5.4 miles ahead. It's like 0.2 miles. Yeah, I was going to say, isn't it that one? No, that's thorough. That's what it said. That was the other station. Oh, yeah, thorough for, uh, fair. It's just a log. log. What are you, though? It's a burnt out poop, then. Up, oh, old outhouse. Uh, hey, I found a structure that might have been an outhouse once, I think. Whoa, uh, you don't need my permission to go to the bathroom, but, you know, use abandoned shitters at your own peril. Lady, it's a poop den. Gotta call it by the right name. Yeah, it's a poop den. Wait, was there toilet paper in there? I don't think so. Oh no, it's just a notebook. Oh, a note. Oh, call it in. I found an old notepad of, uh, I guess, songs. Someone was writing a song called Old Shoshone. Old Shoshone. Where the sky is blue and the teens are nude. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, it's just like that, except about ten times more depressing. Well, grab it. Oh, well, that's good. Let's check it out, see what it says. Now this notebook is held up pretty well. Man, I can barely read this. So well, if you get a situation like well, this... Well, you can hit Q to read. Yeah, well, I was going to say. Oh. If you get a situation like this where you can barely read it, then instead of that, you can just hit Q to read, and it just puts the text up. So you can just read it. I'm just going to skim this because we got crap to do. Yeah, because we got to turn around here real quick. Because of bears. Oh, I gotta keep it. Yeah, keep it. So is that the last thing we're looking at? Nope. Go do your turn around. 180. Boom. Hey, little cabin. Call it in. Anything I should know about the cabin at the top of this hill? Hello? Okay, then. Let's go explore the cabin. Yeah, well, we gotta go investigate it ourselves. The butterfly flying <laughs> across the screen. Maybe she had to go to the poop den. Uh, probably after so long. Hmm. Well, turn on your flashlight. So we got some stairs. It looks like an old fire watch that got burned out. Ru yeah, ruined fire finder. Oh, well, now we know why it burned down. Good job. Let's look off in the distance. What was that? It's oh, that's her lookout right over there. Oh, sure, no, that's, that's a just rock. rock. Pretty sure her lookout is that way. Yeah, I think it is. I think. That's why I confused it with the rock. Hey, guitar. <laughs> when the wind subtle, it just stops, it's kind of spooky. Burn bed. Yeah. Examine it. Yep, that's a guitar. With one string left. Anyway, kabong. Yep, we can figure out where the fire started. A lot of cigarettes. Jesus, man. No, those are pencils. <laughs> you come out here and you smoke. Oh, stove. Oh, God. Oh, ah, holy crap. Stumpy, how did you get out here? Why were you in there? Oh, he's a little chubby. How did you get in there? I'm all right. Holy crap, I think I might have just gotten rabies. Go on. I'm, I'm sniffing around an old lookout and I got attacked by a raccoon. Did he bite you? I, I don't think so. Yeah, you're probably fine. Wait, is the lookout you're in burned to a crisp and filled with raccoons? Uh, apparently. Ooh, Hawk's Rest. <laughs> yeah, 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 okay, I see what you're doing. But <laughs> what do you mean? I just like to stay out of haunted places myself. <laughs> okay, go on, out with it. You want to hear about raccoons? Carter. <laughs> so, some years ago, way before my time, a man named Winthrop Carter was stationed at Hawk's Rest. He was an angry, angry loner. Oh, the story call him was, he too. lost his hmm. life savings betting on horse fights. 
horse fights? In Mexico. So he did what a lot of us do in times of trouble. He signed up with the Forest Service to watch for fires. <laughs> his first night in his lookout, there was a break-in. And the break-ins didn't stop. Finally, one night, he awoke to find someone in his lookout. He reached for his hand axe and threw it at the figure. And just before the axe killed its target, he heard a small voice cry, Help! What was it? A raccoon. Oh, of course. <laughs> See, back in these days, the Forest Service wasn't so good about dropping off food and supplies, and... Well, Carter was hungry. So he did what anyone would do. He skinned and ate it. I mean, you do what you gotta. Carter didn't want to eat anything else. It was raccoons or nothing. Okay, that's but weird. One night, <laughs> as he sharpened his raccoon blade, there was a it's scratching at the door. Blade. He looked towards it and again heard a tiny voice. Help! Help! He approached slowly, knife in hand, and ripped the door open. But no one was there. But then, from under the bed, he heard another small voice. Help! Help! Carter looked under the bed, and of course nothing was there either. So, startled, but believing he was just tired, Raccoon Carter went out hunting and for the first night in months, came up empty. Now, in bed, his stomach rumbling, he hears the voice again. Help! Help! And now, he wonders if it's coming from inside of him. But then, a figure appears at the edge of the Ooh, bed. letterbox. Again, mm. he reaches for his axe, but in its place is another figure. He looks for the door and there are more and more figures. Beady, glowing eyes peering out through dark masks. He leaps out of bed, horrified, slips and hits his head. And before he can get up, he feels hundreds of little fingers and razor-sharp teeth digging into his skin. Far away in Bighorn Tower, the lookout reported hearing a voice echoing through the valley. Loud at first, and then smaller and smaller, until they faded away forever. Help! 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 And that's the story of Raccoon Carter. His ghost still wanders through the valley, moaning, Help! Help! On hot summer nights. So, if Raccoon Carter died, how do we know this story? They found his body ripped to shreds by raccoons. And, and Hawk's Rest was filled to the brim with raccoon pelts. It's probably what caused the fire. That doesn't make any sense. Does anything, Henry? Let's call on this guitar here. Oh, there's an old guitar in here. It's burned up, but it's still intact. Okay. Hey, well, I guess she doesn't care about it. Alright, whatever. Well, we're done in here. I don't think a lot of people actually get that story. Because I don't think they come up... They, I don't think they notice, notice this place until late in the game, so they miss that story. It's actually an achievement. Hmm. I already got it. It's just like it's just like r r Raccoon Carter or something like that. Hmm. And I think on that spooky note, I'll leave everybody for this evening. Next time, we're working our way back to our lookout, wherever it is. It's that way somewhere. It's down south. Oh my God! Raccoon knives. Ah, yeah. oh, is it related to the gun walls? <laughs>